Have you ever been in a situation where you desperately needed new customers or to sell more product? I have many times. But on January 1st, 2018, I was particularly desperate. For two years, things had been going great in my new consulting business. Having just left a five-year stint as a sales executive for Constellation Brands, I didn't really have to work that hard to find new customers. They came to me. As a result, I had neglected to look far enough down the road at my pipeline of potential clients. At the start of a brand new year, I was caught flat-footed with no new customers on the horizon. I started burning through my cash reserves. I even had to stop paying myself. It wasn't just humiliating, it was terrifying. If I, I knew that if I did not come up with a new way to generate new revenue fast, I would be done for. That began my journey of Facebook advertising. I researched, found a coach, submitted to her process. I learned quickly. I had to. I had no choice. What I learned along the way I now share with my clients. So fast forward two years and $10,000 in Facebook advertising spending. I have Facebook advertising has transformed my business. If you have an agency or you do this yourself and you are measuring things like clicks, likes, shares, comments, impressions, reach, all this sort of stuff, these are engagement metrics and vanity metrics. I'm not saying they don't have value. I'm saying if you've ever been in a position where you need revenue, what good are those things? You need to be hanging out with someone who understands how to generate new revenue using Facebook advertising. And I am that person. I have been there and back and I can show you how to do this right. So I've put two links in this post. One is a recent article I wrote about the seven things I learned from the $10,000 I spent on Facebook advertising. And the other is my success checklist. If you can't check all 12 boxes on this list, you've got uh, work to do to improve your success rate using Facebook advertising. So you're gonna have to forget a lot of what you think you know. You're gonna to have to let go of your ego. We all love to breathe our own exhaust, me included. You have to submit to the process. You see, in Facebook advertising, we don't get to decide what works. All of our great ideas, oh, people are gonna love this. We don't get to decide, the customer decides. That's why testing is so important. Anyway, I have great resources for you. I invite you to view them, they're free. And after uh, reviewing these resources, you let me know if you'd like to talk. I'd sure like to talk to you. Thanks.